Hi guys, this is Jody with Catania Inspirations. Thanks for being here with me again today. Today we are going to be reading from Luke 6, verses 27 through 45. So if you want to turn in your Bibles or if you just want to um, listen as I read it, we will have um, prayer requests and prayer at the end of this. So stay tuned for that and please make sure to uh, try to be praying for the people on the prayer request list. I would really appreciate it. Luke 6, 27 through 45. But I tell you who hear me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. If someone strikes you on one cheek, then turn to them also the other. If someone takes your cloak, do not stop them from taking your tunic. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. But love your enemy. Do good to them and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be the son of the Most High, or the daughter of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For with this, with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. He also told them in a parable, Can a blind man lead a blind man? Will they not both fall into a pit? A student is not above his teacher, but everyone who is fully trained will be like his teacher. Why do you look at a speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and yet pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when you yourself fell to see the plank in your own eye? You hypocrite! First take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Wow, guys, that is another great reading out of the Bible and out of Luke 6. That is just amazing, and it's just something really to take to heart and to mind and to try to take into practice every day. I know for myself especially. So let's go ahead and get to the prayer request list, and then we will end in prayer. So I am going to go ahead and uh, let you guys know who is on the prayer list. It's pretty much the same people um, until I hear from them that they want to be um, removed or their prayers have been answered. I'm going to keep having us pray for them. So the first one is going to be life with Mike. Mike is actually in the hospital right now. Um, he has an abscess that has had infection and pain. So we just need to pray for healing for that for him and that he can go home pretty soon. Um, we're praying for you, Mike. And then Dan Anderson um, from his channel, is Dan Anderson, he has been having loss of energy um, so as far as I know, I think he's still having it. So we'll continue prayer for him. Uh, Jamie and Marlo from the Clark Family Homestead had asked for pain for um, one of them or both themselves, plus the pain of their mom who is in um, remission from her cancer. We'll continue prayer for that. Also, if you can pray for our friends, Bonnie and Marty. Bonnie is pregnant and in the hospital right now, and her and the baby are not doing very good. It could be something to do with their heart. I'm not for sure how far along she is, but if we can pray for them. Um, continue prayer for my neck and back. If you guys need any other prayer requests or anybody needs any prayers, put your prayer requests in the comments below. Lord, we come to you and we just first off thank you for the message today. Thank you for this passage and these verses and just your word. Uh, please let me pull the plank from my own eye before I start judging others. Um, I only want to show love and kindness and your love through me to others. So help me continue in that and all of us to continue in that. Um, we also 
just thank you for your word to just remind us to turn the other cheek. Let us remember that we'll have it stored up in heaven if we just give to others without asking or thinking and what are we getting in return. So we ask that you put angels of protection around Bonnie and the baby and just let whatever's going on heal and mend and just work out for the best of their being. Mike, as he's in the hospital, Lord, and he's sitting there and still reading your word every day for all of those on YouTube to watch, just bless him for that, Lord. And and Dan Anderson for his loss of energy, just please bring him back his energy and motivation and keep him under your protection. And also for Jamie and Marlo, just that them and their mom have all their pains lifted and just put angels around them, Lord. And everybody who is listening and watching this video, um, just answer whatever prayers are unsaid here if, if in the way that's your will. We ask that. And just thank you for the um, less pain that I'm having for my neck and my back, Lord. I just appreciate that these prayers and that you are so faithful. So all of this that we ask, Lord, in your name, and we love you so much. Amen. From my heart to your guys' God bless.